my name is Thibaut Ruffin, I'm 32 years old. I'm the owner of the Commensal Valnor DH team and I'm a World Cup racer as well for 15 years now. I just created that team at the beginning for, for myself and um, I just wanted to, to have my structure to run the way I wanted and being like have my own relationship with my sponsors. Year after years, we just grow, grown up and it's uh, been 10 years this year. And yeah, Miriam joined me. My brother started to ride DH um, after his ski career. And uh, after Remy came, we got some victories. After George, it's kind of the, the good setup now with, uh, with these riders. My name is Miriam Nicole. I am from Montpellier, south of France. I am uh, part-time studying physiotherapy and a professional mountain bike rider. So in 2010, in April, I went to do a team camp so for the first time and it started there and uh, since then I, I am with the team. 2010, seven years. There is uh, 10 important races in the season. They are really close to each other, so that's, uh, that's a big thing and many races and many big goals. I've done, this will be my, you know, I've done six seasons, like 50 World Cups or something. In Fort William, this will be my seventh. I've done six. My name is George Brannigan. I come from New Zealand. I rode mountain bikes since I was 12 and 25 now and still racing down on mountain bikes for a living. There's Jumpy and Mary Lou, the, the two parents of Tebow and Gator and Ruffin who run the team. To be honest, without those two, it wouldn't really run because they do a lot of stuff um, behind the scenes, like Jumpy obviously driving the truck and charges through the night sometimes, which is pretty impressive. Mary Lou somehow manages to cook for like 10, 15 people sometimes for every meal, which is pretty amazing. So she does a great job. We're used to it and it's working like this for almost forever now. So just easy and just such a great help and, and easier to make things working this way. Ça fait dix ans que, que je m'occupe d'eux. Quand je suis là, c'est que je suis en vie, donc euh, non, non, avec plaisir. Puis, avec mes gamins, je peux pas demander mieux. Partager les mêmes passions, c'est génial. Damien, we have a really good relation. Um, yeah, to be honest, it's one of the most empathetic people to me. La route tourne, c'est le principal. C'est moi on m'a dit c'est le but du jeu pour faire tourner les roues. I make him 100% confident. Yes. He have a great part of my results. I'm Remy Chayon. I'm 27 years old. I'm professional downhill mountain biker from France and ride for Common Salvador Racing Team.
I think honestly with Dano is like to race, fifty percent of it's mental. And then everything else is training, bike, obviously skills and stuff, but like also riding on that limit of where you can ride the whole way down and being able to do that's like the hardest thing. So that's why some people are just so good at racing. I'm Gaëtan Ruffin, I am uh, 26 years old. I'm uh, running with my brothers, uh, Comensal Valnor DH team. I wouldn't say anything really changes for me from venue to venue. Maybe some of the tracks I slightly prefer than the other, or I don't know, I'm pretty stoked every race to be honest. Every year we come on the same tracks and to don't get bored you need to change stuff so we're changing bikes, we're changing tires, we are always testing to be faster on this kind of track. An update on Remy Tyrion's condition from what has to be one of the worst crashes we've seen in a long time at a mountain bike race. Yeah, I don't even want to look at it, no. you know. It was so scary. He's been carried away to the hospital, but good news is he was already back on his feet. Leo Gang was not with me this year. I had a big crash during my qualification run on the last jump with uh, some, some injury. I broke my collarbone, my left collarbone. I broke three ribs. Two vertebrae. Risk of our sport is obviously injury, just because it's, it's the nature of the game that you can fall off pretty easy and get yourself hurt, be feeling great, and then next second you're on the ground sort of thing, so it's part of it, but it's risk, risk, reward. It's fun obviously racing, but when you, when you do well, that's the biggest reward. I like competition, I like riding, I love the whole summer to summer thing and going to the Alps and pretty much everything about it I like so I wouldn't have it any other way, I just want to keep riding and racing to be honest. There is such a, a big challenge between girls to, to compete and uh, I always want to do my best and I know I haven't had the perfect season yet 
and I know it's on its way so till I, I am not there I'm not gonna stop 